Welcome to Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels. I'm Michelle Newman. Today's program is all about ice cream and it has three segments. First, we'll learn some interesting facts about ice cream and then travel around the world and see what ice cream looks like in different countries. Next, we'll craft with Caroline, making a fun ice pop, a cool, yummy ice cream sundae, followed by a special puffy paint ice cream cone. Finally, I hope you'll play along as we play ice cream trivia. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I found some cool facts about ice cream, the world's most popular dessert. Let's take a journey around the world and learn about this delicious treat. New Zealand consumes more ice cream per capita than any other country, with an average of 7.5 gallons per person per year. Whoa! Next is the U.S., where we average 5.5 gallons per person per year. That's 44 pints. California produces the most ice cream, which shouldn't be a surprise as it is also the top dairy producer. Over her entire lifetime, one dairy cow can produce enough milk for 9,000 gallons of ice cream. No one really knows who invented ice cream. It seems to have started in China, where they created a dish of rice mixed with milk that was frozen by being packed in snow. In ancient Rome, Emperor Nero enjoyed mixing snow with fruit and honey. From there, it progressed, and eventually ice cream came to the United States. President Washington was a big fan, and he paid $200 for ice cream in one summer. Ice cream cones have been around for a very long time, but historians believe it became popular as a result of the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri. An ice cream vendor ran out of cups, so he worked with the waffle maker next to him to make cones. Its popularity really took off from there. Are you a cup or a cone fan? Have you ever gotten an ice cream headache or brain freeze when eating ice cream a little too quickly? This is what's really going on. When something really cold touches the roof of your mouth, the blood vessels that run between your mouth and your brain tense up, trapping blood in your brain. If the pressure from that extra blood causes the brain pain. If it's particularly bad, try pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth. By warming the sensors on the roof of your mouth, your brain will have time to get out of panic mode. How many licks does it take to finish a scoop of ice cream? The magic number is 50. I'm not sure how they figured that out, but next time you have one, maybe you can count. What is ice cream? It's made up of five basic components, air, sweeteners, fat, ice crystals, and other solids. Air makes up a lot of it. Have you noticed that when your pint melts and refreezes, it ends up a different texture? That's because ice cream has tiny microscopic air bubbles in it that keep it soft and fluffy. When it melts, the molecular structure breaks down and the air escapes. So when you refreeze it and then go grab a scoop, it's not as soft. Lots of world records in ice cream. The largest scoop of ice cream was strawberry flavored, weighed 3,010 pounds, and was created in Wisconsin on June 28, 2014. The world's record for the tallest ice cream cone was achieved in 2015 with a cone over 10 feet high in Norway. The largest ice cream cake weighed in at over 12,333 pounds, and it was achieved by Dairy Queen in Toronto, Canada. It included sponge cake, vanilla ice cream, buttercream frosting, and Oreo cookie crumble topping. Count me in. You probably have seen astronaut ice cream in candy stores or gift shops, but you should know this freeze-dried ice cream has never been to space at all. Can you guess what America's favorite flavor is? If you guess chocolate, strawberry, or cookies and cream, you're wrong. The most popular flavor is actually vanilla. But there are some really wacky flavors out there. Lobster and ice cream? You can try it in Maine. But some of the most disgusting flavors of ice cream I have ever seen was in Tokyo, Japan. You can find ice cream flavors of curry, wasabi, beef tongue, Real pieces of beef tongue. Snake. <laughs> Yuck! And looking for interesting facts about ice cream, I 
came across this amazing YouTube channel called Hi Ho Kids with videos showing boys and girls trying different things. Here's a brief clip of them trying an unusual flavor of ice cream. Is it vanilla? I don't know. Let me try. Doesn't taste like vanilla. What does it taste like? Uh. Why is it spicy? <laughs> Actually, it does taste like vanilla. Huh. Actually, it's spicy. Although we think of ice cream as an American specialty, ice cream is popular around the world, even if it might look a little different. In Japan, mochi ice cream is the perfect blend of traditional mochi! ice cream wrapped in a tasteful it's layer a of mochi, mochi a, a sweet rice cake that forms the perfect bite-sized treat. Common flavors include green tea and red bean. Mixed citrus syrup is poured over shaved ice in this Japanese kakagori. It may be made of ice, but it's most definitely not a snow cone. It uses super finely shaved ice created by shaving ice from ice blocks until it builds into a fluffy pile. They then add syrups to the ice with flavors such as green tea, strawberry, grape, and melon. Kakagori sometimes also has condensed or evaporated milk and is almost always served in a bowl has add-ons like red bean, paste, or fresh fruit. Although gelato is often confused with ice cream, the dessert is actually quite different. In Italy, gelato is a denser and milkier option, lower in fat than traditional ice cream, crafted with whole milk, egg, sugar, and flavorings. Chocolate, hazelnut, pistachio, and stracciatella, or vanilla ice cream mixed with pieces of chocolate, are the most beloved flavors. And forget the standard ice cream scoop. In Italy, gelato is served using a spatula that presses the cool treat into a cup or cone. French ice cream is richer than its Italian counterpart. Glace is a nice cross between American frozen custard and gelato, almost always made using cream and eggs. With salted caramel is the most iconic flavor. Yum! An ice cream that doesn't melt? Yes, that's exactly what Dondurma, or Turkish ice cream, is. It has an elastic texture and is made with goat milk, sugar, and salep, which is the pulp of a purple orchid. It also has mastic, or a pine-flavored resin, that's extracted from a mastic tree. It's quite the production. The men who sell it wear traditional Turkish abba and a sultan hat. They stretch, twist, and turn the ice cream until it lands into a cone. It's quite the show. Found not in a shop, but a street cart or a bazaar. <laughs> it is amazing in Istanbul. Making kulfi in India is not an easy task. The traditional Indian ice cream is a mixture of milk, cardamom, pistachio, and honey, and is served like a popsicle. It's sprinkled with pistachios, offering eaters a chewy texture. Mango is a particularly popular flavor. South Koreans often enjoy their ice cream in a special J-shaped cone called japangi. The cone is made from crushed corn, which is then filled with ice cream that comes out both ends of the saxophone-shaped treat. Crunchy and portable, this quirky shape helps keep the drip off your clothes and I bet you won't waste a single bite. Why would this be your ice cream? What are you Germans actually serve their ice cream to look like a plate of spaghetti. French vanilla ice cream is put through a pasta maker to make the frozen dessert look like noodles. Then strawberry sauce is drizzled on top to give the appearance of tomato sauce. Shaved white chocolate is added for the Parmesan effect. Meatballs can be made with brownie bites or a chocolate ice cream. What do you think? Would you try spaghetti and meatball ice cream? Great thinking, Germany. From sweet and creamy to sour and chewy, Mexican paletas are perfect no matter your craving. These frozen popsicles are made with coconut milk or fruit puree. Biting into this frosty dessert is a real treat. 
because with each bite, you get a chunk of fresh fruit. Raspado is Mexico's version of a snow cone using fresh fruit juices. But while snow cones are made using excessively sweet syrup, raspados have real fruits or fresh fruit juices. In fact, making them is something of a craft. The sweet and cold treat is popular throughout Mexico and sold at street carts. Favorite fruit-based flavors include lime, pineapple, orange, and mango. Or maybe you want to try an Eskimo, a blend of raspado and a milkshake using milk, condensed milk, fresh seasonal fruit, sugar, vanilla, and shaved ice. Talk about delicious. In Thailand, they eat a rolled ice cream called Itim Pad. This treat is made by pouring the ice cream base with your choice of flavor ingredients on a plate that dips 15 degrees below zero. The ice cream solidifies into a thin layer and then scrapes into a picture-perfect roll. These rolls are then topped with fruits and sweets. In Alaska, they have an odd type of ice cream, aquatak, traditionally made from the fat from animals like seals, moose, and yes, even fish. Yuck! Can you imagine ice cream from fish? It's surprisingly good. I guess milk fat and animal fat are both tasty, especially with seasonal berries. In the American Midwest, frozen custard is extremely popular. This dessert is like ice cream, but has the added ingredients of eggs, which gives it a more delicious, creamy flavor. The eggs also keep the dessert from melting too quickly. When it comes to frozen custard flavors, Americans typically have a choice between vanilla or chocolate. You can also go for a swirl, a combination of the two. You roll your custard in sprinkles or dip it in a blueberry or chocolate syrup that instantly freezes into a hard shell. Hokey Pokey is a flavor of ice cream in New Zealand, consisting of plain vanilla ice cream with small solid lumps of honeycomb toffee. It is delicious. In Israel, you should try halva, sweet and candy-like made from sesame seeds and mashed with sugar, eggs, and creams, usually topped with pistachios and date syrup. It's like an Israeli Snickers ice cream. (laughs) Sounds good to me. In Taiwan, you must stop at Snow King ice cream, which has been around since 1947. There are a lot of wacky flavors like mustard or curry or bitter melon. Not strange enough, there's chicken, soybean curd, pork floss, and pig's knuckles flavored ice cream. Well, talking about ice cream is making me hungry. I hope you enjoyed our journey around the world learning about ice cream and seeing some in amazing places. I'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Caroline and I'm so excited to do some more crafts with you today. Today's video was all about ice cream. I love ice cream, especially to eat it in the summer. And so today we're doing two really fun ice cream crafts and a special surprise ice cream craft at the end. I hope you have fun. So for the ice pop craft, you will need a piece of white paper, crayons, some watercolor and a paintbrush, and a cup of water for the watercolor. You'll also need a popsicle stick, glue, and scissors. So first we're gonna cut out our popsicle shape. So first you wanna take your paper and fold it in half. And then I'm gonna use a pencil and draw the shape before so that I can just cut it along the where I drew it but you don't have to do this step but I'm going to so if you're going to you want to draw it along the bottom like that so like this and now I'm going to just cut this out So now I have two shapes and now what we're going to do is we're going to put glue all over one side of one of them. So only on one, all over one side. 
And then you can take your popsicle stick and put it down on it. And then you could take your other one and stick it on top. So now it's like a sandwich. So now I took out the colors that I want my sprinkles to be. And I'm gonna draw with my crayons a bunch of sprinkles all over my ice cream. And you can use whatever colors you want and you can put the sprinkles all over one side of your ice cream. Okay, so now I have all my sprinkles on and the reason we're using crayons to draw the sprinkles is because they have wax in them, so the watercolor resists it. So when you paint over it, it won't ruin the crayon and it'll just go over it. So now it's time to watercolor. So my paintbrush is in a cup of water and I'm just gonna dip, you can dip into whatever color you want. I'm gonna use blue. And then you can just start painting all over and as you can see, it resists the crayon and you can still see the sprinkles. So this is my finished product and as you can see, I made this one look almost like tie-dye and then I made this one before and it's like striped. So you can make it however you want and they can all be different. So for the ice cream sundae craft, you will need a white piece of paper or any other color you want. And then you'll also need a few different colors of pieces of paper for your different flavors of ice cream. And then you also need scissors, glue, and for the topping of my ice cream sundae, I'm gonna use a pom-pom for the cherry. So first we're gonna draw the ice cream bowl. So I'm using a black marker, but you can use any color you want. And first, I'm just gonna draw two little lines for my ice cream bowl to go on top of, like that. And then, I'm gonna draw a big U shape. Like this. And then, I'm gonna draw a big line all the way across for the bowl. If you want, you can also decorate your bowl, but I'm gonna leave mine like this. So now I have my different pieces of paper and I'm going to show you how to draw the ice cream shape. So first you wanna draw a big shape like this. And now you wanna make it look like the ice cream is dripping like a scoop of ice cream. So you can draw these little bumps on the bottom. And I have my paper all put together, so all stacked on top of each other. So I'm gonna cut it all at the same time so that I can get all of my ice cream scoops. So now I have all of them cut out and I have chocolate, strawberry, mint chocolate chip and vanilla. Now I'm gonna glue them onto my paper. But you can have, you don't have to have four scoops. You can have as many as you want. So I'm just gonna put them on my bowl and you can have them like this, like dripping into the bowl kind of. So now I have all of my ice cream glued on. So I'm gonna put a cherry on each of my ice cream scoops because I really like cherries on my ice cream. But you can also do whipped cream or you can put on sprinkles or you can make you can make any flavor you want or you can put one cherry, however you want to decorate it. Okay, so now I have all my cherries on and now I'm going to write on my bowl ice cream. Okay, so that is the ice cream sundae craft. So now we're gonna make the ice cream cone craft and we're gonna make our own poppy paint so that it looks more like ice cream. So what you need is for the cone, you'll need some brown paint, a paintbrush, 
And to make it look more like a cone, we're gonna use a fork to make it look really cool and more like a cone. And then for the puffy paint, you need glue and shaving cream. So first we're gonna draw the cone to see where we should put the paint. So we can just draw a big triangle shape like that. So now you can take your paintbrush and dip it into the brown paint and we can just paint over here and it doesn't have to be perfect. You could just fill in the whole triangle shape. And you don't have to make the lines like all the same way because we are going to use the fork to make it look really cool. Okay, so now that's all painted and now you can take your fork and you can make some lines this way, some lines the other way, and you can make it so that it looks like the crisscrosses on a real ice cream cone. Like that. So this is what it looks like a little bit more up close. Okay, so now we're gonna make the puffy paint. So you need an equal amount of glue and shaving cream. So you can screw off the top of the glue so it's easier to pour in. And I'll use about that much. And now I'm gonna put in the shaving cream. It should be enough. And now I'm gonna use a paintbrush to mix it, but you can use a spoon or anything you can use to mix it up. So now we have the puppy paint and you can use paint to make it colored. So I'm gonna use some blue paint to make it look like cotton candy ice cream. So I'll just pour a little bit in, okay. And then I'll mix that up. You can use any color you want to make it whatever flavor you want your ice cream to be. So mine is light blue. Okay, so now you can paint with it. So you can just make it look like a big ice cream scoop. So this is what mine looks like. And before you touch it or anything, you wanna let it dry overnight. And then when you feel it the next day, it feels really cool and it looks more puffy. And then you can always add some more if you want it to be even more puffy. I hope you had fun doing these ice cream crafts with me. Bye. Welcome everyone to Ice Cream Trivia. We'll have 10 questions with four answers, only one of which is correct. Today I'm playing with my friends Linda, Sherry, and Janet. I hope you'll play along. Question number one. How many licks does it take to finish that off? One scoop of ice cream in a cone. 36, 50, 80, or 149. I do not know how they figured this out, but I've read it multiple places. I would love to do a sampling. Yeah, yeah, me too. Too. And the answer is 50. Yeah. With the lollipop, how many licks does it take? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Question two. Which of these countries eats the most ice cream per person? Is it the United States? Is it China? C, New Zealand, or D, Iceland? Which country eats the most ice cream per person? And the answer is New Zealand. They just barely beat the United States. I remember that. Question number three. What is the most popular ice cream flavor? A, vanilla, B, strawberry, C, cookie dough, or D, chocolate? Which is the most popular flavor? 
And the answer is vanilla. That's what about you guys? What's your I don't favorite? Think that's favorite vanilla. Vanilla. I, I do not like vanilla. vanilla. I'm a vanilla person. <laughs> I love soft serve vanilla with chocolate sprinkles. Yes, me okay. too. That's the I best. I love chocolate. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a chocolate girl too. Question number four. Where do historians think the earliest form of ice cream probably originated? Was it A, Italy, B, Canada, C, the United States, or D, China? I was surprised by this, actually. Mm. And the answer if I'm right. is China. Yay! A long, long time ago. Question number five. Where was the ice cream cone popularized in 1904? The Summer Olympics in Rio, at the Coliseum in Rome, at the World's Fair in St. Louis, or on the Great Wall of China? Hmm. Uh, I don't remember this one. The ice cream cone. Let's see. And the answer is in St. Louis at the World Fair. Oh, I don't know why I wrote the Great Wall of China. <laughs> No, well, I could because understand. it originated in China. Well, yeah, so. it originated yeah. there. All right. Question number six. Gelato, a version of ice cream that contains very Favorite. low butter fat, originates from what country? A, Italy, B, France, C, Japan, or D, India? Who makes that delicious gelato? Sacatella. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love that's my favorite. Oh, and the delicious. answer is Italy. Uh, and it has the egg yolks in it, right? Yeah. The right. Question number seven. In what country would you find an ice cream wrapped in a tasteful layer of a sweet rice cake? A, South Africa. B, Japan. C, South Korea. Or D, Italy. Hmm. They are pretty tasty. Yeah, I'm going to get some of those next time. Yeah, me too. Oh, my gosh. They're so good. And the answer is Japan. Question number eight. The state that produces the most ice cream in the United States is A, California, B, Ohio, C, Texas, or D, Idaho? Hmm, I was kind of surprised. I didn't realize this state was the biggest dairy producer. I, I didn't know I that surprised. either. I, I found that really interesting, too. Mm -hmm. And the answer is California. Yay. Question number nine. Which country this makes an funny. ice cream that looks like spaghetti and meatballs? A, France, B, New Zealand, C, Germany, or D, Russia? That is so funny. This was so interesting. <laughs> and it, it was really so interesting. Me, I forget the country. But the meatballs were made out of what? I knew the spaghetti was made Chocolate out of Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate they ice never cream. said what the meatballs were made out of. But right. I in Germany. Ice cream. Sometimes I think they use, I think they make them out of brownies. I think brownies. Oh, the okay. visual that I found didn't have the meatballs. It just had the spaghetti yeah. with the with a strawberry sauce and then it it's delicious. Delicious. and then um, the and white chocolate. And and pasta. They use a pasta maker, a, right? A pasta right. maker, yeah. But it's but it's what ice cream? Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla, vanilla ice, cream. ice cream. Yeah. Wow, but that's really. amazing. That it looks so amazing. good. Yes. Uh, question number ten. In in which country would you find rolled ice cream? A Thailand. B, Japan, C, South Korea, or D, nowhere? <laughs> the answer is Thailand. Okay, let's see. How and that was the one that I did it again. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Very good. I hope you enjoyed learning a lot about ice cream.